is 11.05 on Friday, March 8th. I thought that I would do a weekend vlog because this weekend is Carolina Fiberfest in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I'm going to go with a couple friends uh, tomorrow, so I thought I would just vlog the whole weekend. Um, I haven't done a vlog in a long time. I don't know, since December, I think, Vlogmas, yeah. But, um, so, I got some, you guys saw me working on my rocket tee. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited about this project. Um, this is Millions of Peaches. My pre-toasted yarns and the gray is just Rowan Kits Up Haze in the colorway smoke. So, it's the middle of the morning. Um, our system has been down the entire morning. Um, so I'm just here. I'm answering emails and continuously rechecking to find out if the system is back up. So I got some lunch. It's my first time trying one of these. I am all about some Indian food. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try this and then keep at it. So, so long for now. Yeah, it's a notification that my package has been delivered. So, this is from Kelsey over at, it's either Littlest Charm Co. or The Littlest Charm Co. Um, I've been buying from her for a year, I think. I love her stuff. And if you watch my last podcast, Knitcast, I'm not calling podcasts anymore. If you watch my last Knitcast, you'll see why I love her so much. So I got a new charm from her. Thanks so much. The little Chunka. There she is. It's her little Easter popsicle. So this was her St. Patrick's Day one. And now I have a spring one. I've got, I think this makes five. I've got a watermelon, a 4th of July, Valentine's Day. Yeah, the shamrock and the spring one makes five. So yeah. <laughs>
morning friends it is eight o'clock on a very very wet and rainy saturday morning um i am headed to pick up nikki and we're going to stop at biscuitville and get some noms uh, and then we're going to go pick up our friend kate and then we're going to get on the road to carolina Harbor Fest. i'm excited i want to shop for yarn i'm hoping i actually see some friends from instagram that'd be nice um uh, I'm hoping that I actually get to like document some of this stuff, um, like record and stuff and take pictures would be great. There are some vendors here who I've never seen before, like Emily from Fangirl Fibers, and I would just love to meet her and talk to her, you know, put a face with a name. So, yeah, but this is going to be about a two hour drive from where we are in North Carolina to Raleigh State Fairgrounds. Um, and with the rain, I'm a little worried that it's going to slow us down just because people don't know how to drive in the rain. Um, let's be real. So, this is the plan. And we'll just see where the day takes us from here. festival is great. I'm gonna have to go into it a little bit more tomorrow because um, the uh, youngest goblin got sick when I got home so I've been dealing with that. Um, but yeah, everything was great. Spending time with friends was great. Yarn was fantastic. Um, hopefully y'all can hear me but um, it's time for bed so I'll see you in the morning. It is Sunday, March 10th. Is it the 10th? I think it's the 10th. Um, so, yeah, last night was not fun with uh, the little one getting sick out of nowhere. Um, that was bad. We had a family friend come over and we had done pizza for dinner. So, and he just was like everywhere. It was not good. So, um, I ended up staying on the couch with him. I watched uh, The Hobbit while he just rested. So, Today, it's supposed to be cold outside, but the kids are already outside with the handsome devil, and um, I'm going to go outside and join them.
o'clock, a little after four, um, Sunday afternoon. Uh, the boys are outside with the handsome devil, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a rundown of status acquisition from yesterday. Carolina Fabric Fest was fantastic. Uh, I had such a great time with Nikki and Kate. Um, it felt like a, a lot more low key than Saf. I'm not really sure how or why, um, but it was better. Um, I made more purchases, which I don't know if that was just because the quality of the vendors was better. At, um, Carolina Fiber Fest, um, Saf was definitely lacking last year, so who knows? But let me jump right into it, okay? So um, I'm gonna try to do these grouped together because I did make like you know uh, several different skeins from several different or from each dyer. Okay, so Fiber C, one of my favorite dyers. Love Lindsay. Go check her out. Um, this is stained glass. It's really pretty. Love it. Have no idea what just happened. Stained glass on um, Barber Seed on their Sprout base, which is, hang on just a second. Uh, it is a 9010 Merino nylon. There's a 510 yards for 136 grams. So I'm hoping I can get a whole tank top out of this. Um, also from Fiber Seed, I got two skeins of this is Boston Tea Party. This is one that her son Reese died. Resume. So, um, Lindsay's son Reese, uh, his colorways are called Rainbow Soup by Reese. There's a little note on the back. Super cute when he comes up with these colorways. I love this one. I already have a skein of this. This is on their um, sprout. This is okay. Hang on. Sorry. This is their sock blend. This is their DK base. They're both 10%, 90, 10. So, um, this is their DK. I already have a skein of this. This is going to be my American Gothic, um, summer shirt. If I can get it done before 4th of July. So that'll be next. Um, that was it for fiber seed. I got a sticker, which I put on my water bottle, so I did do that. Uh, Miss Babs always has a show color, show me, uh, colorway. Okay, so I picked up this. What's it called? Carolina Fiber Fest 2024. Um, I got this for my mom. I'm gonna send it to her as a surprise. She has no idea. And then Miss Babs always has like a thank you with um, a wee, wee little stitch marker on there. So yeah, that'll go to my mama. One of the hellhounds is running back and forth between the front door and the back door, so um, you may hear radar running by. Let's see. Gems Lux Fiber. Always gotta stop and see Emily and Judy and see what they've been doing. So I got, this is the, I can't say this y'all, E-C-H-I-D-N-A Ignita collection on their Lux uh, DK Minis. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And let's see if y'all can see that. These are going to go on Atticus's corner to corner blanket that I'm working on right now. Uh, I decided that I needed more color. Um, I just needed something to pop more, uh, without using my solid fingering weight skeins that I, and my singles, that, my solid fingering weight minis. So, I got those to go in his blanket. And I've been chugging along on that this week. I got this skein on their Lux sock. Um, this is Bewitching. I think this is going to be a pair of socks. I really like this color. I think it would be a really good um, spring, summer sock color. So, it captivated me. And usually I don't lean towards oranges. So, um... Last purchase was with She makes some of the cutest stuff. I got a rainbow sticker. 
And then these are her Pearl Scouts merit badges, which these are adorable. Um, beach Knitter and Yarnaholic. She has a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, I thought that they were darling. It was really hard to pick just a couple. But um, I need to go follow her on Instagram so that I can keep up with the merit badges. She had like 20, 25 different merit badges. So that's definitely fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I think they may go in my Kava bag. And then that's the last thing that's in my bag. <laughs> Big thing. I'm so excited about these. This is the Haunted Mansion Fast Game DK set from Fangirl Fibers. She did these colors for a um, color work cowl. This was not Jamie. This was someone else who I cannot remember uh, that had the the Halloween haunted Hall haunted mansion Disney haunted mansion like motifs. I didn't do it, but I love the colors. Um, I saw this and had to get it. I think that this is going to be a DK weight, um, maybe like a, a higher short sleeve raglan shaping top, just like super easy stripes. Yeah, because there's definitely enough there. So 123 times six, that's plenty. Definitely plenty, so that was the big one. It was a great, great time. I wish the weather was a little bit better because the rain did kind of slow us down on the way up there. Um, they're doing some construction work on 40 going into Raleigh, Durham. So that slowed us down, especially with the rain and it's just yucky walking in the rain. Um, probably trying to protect your fiber goods. <laughs> so yeah, um, the rest of the day is mostly just getting ready for Monday. Um, I'm getting dinner prepped. Uh, I've got to clean up and pick up a little bit, get the kids clothes out for tomorrow. Got to do some admin stuff, you know, for the house. Um, probably throw a load of laundry in, but yeah. So I'll check in a little bit. Bye.